you are totally correct. <laughs> this is my cousin, Pido, and this is their place, beautiful place. Yes, I came from Philippines, then dropped here for 17 hours layover, and then going to Canada. So when you stopped here, you bought a jacket. I already wore a jacket. <laughs> you don't need a jacket in the Philippines. No, but I, I was prepared because the, the trip is 13 hours and we'll never know be here it's my first time to come here in this part of san francisco i went to to san francisco city hall and it's like so so miserable there but here it's so nice how long you've been driving uber sir oh, a few years oh nice it's just like a side hustle or just you know sell or try to sell real estate real estate's turning kind of slow because of the interest rate kind of oh, so what about that area that you picked me up how much are the houses there oh, I, like how much do you think that house that you picked me up i didn't take a really hard look at it how many bedrooms four eight hundred thousand dollars <gasps> holy eight hundred thousand and uh how much was the i forgot the rent they're renting three thousand a month yes do you think that's the rent for the eight thousand eight hundred thousand it's a great deal for them see i know like my cousin said that they are paying three thousand and i think and we're talking about the price of the house so i said i said if what, did, what, did he, what did he think the house I thought it's only 500. That's understatement? Way under. Oh. Unless it's really crappy. I mean, the, the it's not. It's really nice inside. So 800. Oh my. They're safe with here. Yeah, 500, you're going to get uh, a two bedroom uh, in a different, in a lesser part of San Pablo. Mm. Remember, there's only three things important about real estate. Yeah, what is it? Location. Mm -hmm. Location. Right and location. location. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the only three important things. And their location is really beautiful because it's overlooking that area. Well, it's also in Terre Hills. Terre Hills is a very nice location. Mm. There are parts of San Pablo that are considerably lesser. There's no part of San Pablo that's any nicer. Mm. San Pablo. I thought it's San... No, Pinoli. That's Pinol. No, that's San Pablo. Oh, so what's Pinol is? Like Pinol. Just a little further out. Oh, so that's San Pablo. Okay. And this is the freeway. Highway 80, 80. Yes. Okay, perfect. I've driven the entire length of Highway 80. Oh, San Rafael Bridge, Richmond Parkway. You know where That's Highway 80 right. starts? I don't know. Right here, San Francisco. Okay, and all the way to? New York City. Oh, <gasps> what? New York is on the east side. 3,000 miles away. Oh, serious. So it's really Highway 80. Wow, look at that. Beautiful ocean. Is that an ocean already, right? Bay. It's a bay. Yeah, looking at San Francisco Bay. Okay. But that's already the sea, right? Open sea after that? Well, there's a little teeny inlet that's two miles wide. That, okay. That, that is the Golden Gate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. salt water okay. the tide comes in and goes out that's beautiful I you know I've been I am an, a citizen in Canada and I think we can buy property in the US so I'm really thinking of buying a property here in the US because I want to stay here than in Canada. 
Because Canada is so cool, especially in Alberta in our province. What is your immigration situation? I am a citizen. U.S.? In, in Canada. Canada, okay. Yeah, I think I can buy. Yes. Okay. I've heard so many Canadians having properties in the U.S. Yes. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> Way better. Well, okay. The, the, the rules for immigration from Canada are easier than rules for immigration from the Philippines. Philippines. So, yes, exactly. You need to get somebody to petition you in. Yeah. From the mm. Philippines. Exactly. Yeah. Hopefully, we can stay here in the in the winter and stay in Canada in the summertime. That's. That's what they call uh, snowbirds. The snowbirds. Yes, I've I've some friends living in Texas or in somewhere in the east side. Where do you want to live? I want to live in that area. <laughs> they said there is no snow there. Here. Yes, no. No, no snow. snow. And that's only three hours away from our place. Like, how come? <laughs> our place is so extreme. We got negative 40 winter time, and we got a positive 40 in summertime. What town do you live in? I'm in Edmonton, Alberta. Edmonton, Alberta, yes. So extreme there. <laughs> I am an accountant in the government. Hard to do that remote. Um, we're doing remote actually. We're doing um, uh, like starting the COVID during COVID time. We got 100% work from home, but now we are only like three days work from home, and hopefully in the future we're gonna work off-site like outside hopefully it's gonna be a long commute for you when you buy a house here it's three hours three hours from our from edmonton yep. three hours flight i can't leave philippines is too hot like very very hot humid. humid here it's so perfect Overall daytime, nighttime, winter. Mm, not bad. And 
so any sense of, and I took a look at what the average summertime temperature in San Francisco is. This is San Francisco uh -huh. on the ocean with the fog. The average daytime, the average total temperature in the summer at the zoo is 58 degrees. Oh, that's really nice, but too hot. <laughs> 58 is too hot. 58 Fahrenheit. Oh, Fahrenheit, degrees. Yes. I, I don't know how, like, which is Celsius, degrees Celsius. Which is 15. 15, one five. Right, so it goes so... Not winter, bad. So winter time is 13, summer time is 15. Yeah, that's what they said. Okay. It's just like steady the whole year round. Right, exactly. Very nice. And you know, we went to the park right this morning, and I've noticed so many wild berries on the side. And it's so amazing. And I've seen lots of like oranges and persimmons and although in the houses, right? But the wild berries, oh my. I love it. Like in Canada, we only have apples. That's the only like known or common common wild uh, fruits. So how big a house should I be looking for for you? Uh, can you <laughs> can you look for me? But the price, I think the price would range from four hundred to five hundred, three fifty to five hundred. Can I find one? You think? Not in your friend's neighborhood. Not in my in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, okay. Not in that area. But I like I like their area. It's so peaceful. So 500, not not less. Yeah, very hard to find less. Very hard to find less. In two miles, keep right to stay on I-80 West. Yeah, that house is really nice. At the backyard, it's beautiful. It's so big. And how much is the tax for that? Uh, like the house is. Property tax is set. 1.2% of what you paid for it annually. So you pay a million dollars for a house, your property tax is uh, $1,200 a year. Tax. Like two ways. So what's the first way? Okay, at Valorium. Uh huh. Which is what I quoted you. Uh huh. Okay, so. 1.2% and that's the basic property tax. Uh -huh. Then, if the people in the town want to support something, they can vote by a two-thirds vote of the town to have more tax. Additional. So, as in, in most towns have done this, they will have a fixed number parcel tax. So every lot in town gets to pay an addition $200 a year. Oh, not bad. 200 is not bad. And so you got to look when you buy a house. I'm a real estate broker in case you didn't figure that out. Oh, okay. So but we'll never know. In the future, the council will decide, right? town decides. Oh, yeah, yeah. The council. Council of the whole town. No, no council. Everybody. Oh, the people. The people vote. Oh, it's by referendum or something like that. It's a, it's a tax. So, so the people can say, no, no, no. We're not going to. Yes. In a half mile, keep right to stay on I-80 West using the middle lane. It's nice to know, eh? But it's a bit high. Oh yeah, I think it's similar to our uh, place because our house there is half million Canadian and we're paying around 4,000 so it's cheaper there, cheaper there.
have initiatives here that uh, favor uh, non-white teachers. Oh, really? Yes. Why? Uh, really, because years of discrimination. Brown students feel intimidated with white teachers or being discriminated? I'm not sure. It may be all psychological. Oh, yeah, it, probably. And the pronounced. So you can, you can really see. The, the pronounced different is actually with black children and, and black teachers. Mm. kids but there's so many co-teachers so many co-teachers they are in contact with living with uh, together before in the apartment she has lots of contacts oh, yeah. no, first first uh, generation uh, immigrants generally take care of each other as much as they can yes exactly you know, to prevent culture shock and everything, right? Oh, yeah. So you need to connect with the uh, other fellow immigrants. And you can speak. You are totally correct. <laughs> oh, 
this is the bridge that I missed to take video last night. Because they picked me up from the airport around 10 last night. So I saw this bridge so beautiful at night. What's this bridge name? Okay, so this is a bridge that connects San Francisco and Oakland. Oh. So it is the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. Wow. Okay. See that fog bank right there? Yeah. Okay. What is that? That is Carl the fog. And if you if the fog wasn't there, uh-huh. Then I could point out the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, and right. that island there is it's Alcatraz. It's oh, the, that's the one that I missed. That's the old federal prison. Yeah. Oh, my. Right. When I visited here, how many years ago? Seven years ago? Yeah. I missed to go there. we just only up to the San Francisco Golden Gate. But the Alcatraz, oh, my God. I miss it. Next time. So we are close to San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge. Well, we're in San Francisco. San Francisco is only seven miles by seven miles. So it's, it's, miles it's a little town. To stay on oh. West. That's why they build tall buildings. Mm. See that tallest building right there? Yep. That is Salesforce Tower. Exactly. That's what I hear. Salesforce Tower. So that's offices? Yes. Salesforce. Yeah, it was built before the pandemic. Uh huh. And so now a lot of people work from home. That's empty. <laughs> a lot of people got laid off. It's actually only 50% empty. Oh, wow. It's 61 stories. Oh, wow. You can just imagine the, the loss of the owner of the corporators and investors. Alcatraz. Wow. Salesforce Tower. name is Salesforce Tower. It's not owned by Salesforce. <laughs> Salesforce paid somebody to let them put their name on it. Oh, okay. Wow. Pandemic has given us so much realization in life, eh? So on our left is... Uh, Barricade, you can't quite see it, but it's uh, the San Francisco Baseball Giants Stadium. Mm. I can't see. <laughs> wow. See the sign that says Oracle Park on the on the brick. Yes, oh, I can see the Oracle Park. That is the baseball stadium. Oh. Baseball Stadium. Oh my, it's very huge. You said seven by seven miles? That's all San Francisco is. But it's so big. <laughs> so big. Well, it's got a million people, just under a million actually. Oh, it's not many. No, well, it's only seven miles by seven miles. It's a little town. And then it's one million. Because our place, Edmonton, it's up over, just over a million. And I feel that we're not so saturated. But here it's so much houses. Well, that's because that's all in San Francisco. So as soon as you leave San Francisco, then you get to Brisbane, then you get to, to San Mateo, then you get to San Bruno, all the other towns that, wow. are, that are bedroom communities for San Francisco. Greater Bay Area. In the right three lanes. Oh, so the Greater Bay is composed of how many cities? Uh, I'm not sure. 20. 20. Oh, okay, makes sense. So 1 million average per city. 
So San Francisco is one million. Yep. Oh my. Oakland's about six hundred thousand. But mm. the town you were in, San Pablo, is another I don't know what they are, maybe a hundred thousand. Oh San Pablo is a town of San Francisco. No, it's part of the greater San Francisco greater metropolitan San Francisco. area. Okay. Yeah, because San Francisco, oh no, California is the state. San Francisco is the city. And then San Pablo is part of San Francisco. Well, greater metro, yes. Yeah. Greater, San yeah. Pablo actually is part of Contra Costa County. Oh, it's confusing. <laughs> Different political subdivisions. Okay. One half mile Golden Gate. So yeah, Daly City is uh, actually the next city south of San Francisco. Oh. But if you want to stick to half a million, we can't find a house there. No, in San find, Pablo. Might find one in. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe San Lorenzo. Which is how far from San Pablo? Oh, that's quite far. So you want to be in San Pablo area? Your yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know there though in in San Lorenzo, but because I have not gone there, but here I really like. Well, the Terre Hills area is very nice. I don't, you know, when we walk around the neighborhood of that, like going to what park is that? I don't see any for sale houses. It's like, do they usually say for sale? Oh yeah. Right outside, mm -hmm. I haven't seen one. Well, you get your half a million dollars together and call me. We'll find a house. Mm. Then how would I contact you? I'm about to see if I've got one of my business cards in my pocket. That would be great. Tesla pickup truck. Oh, wow. That's simple. <laughs> Ugly, isn't it? <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> That's my first time to see that. Thank you, sir. Henry Gannett. Henry Gannett. Did I yes. pronounce it right? Perfectly. Yeah. Thanks. Broker, notary. Wow, that's really nice. Thank you so much. I'm really, I said to my cousin, as soon as I arrive home, I'll start to find some real estate here. <laughs> it's so coincidence that I met you. I really said I have to find out prices of house here. Is it, is it difficult to become a real estate broker in the U.S.? No, there's uh, six classes you have to take, then you have to pass the state test. Mm. You know, in Canada, in our place, people are like moving. In our neighborhood, we've been there for, in the new house, because we have two houses. In the new house, we, live, we bought in 2017. And I think only three, like only three have been our, our neighbors, original neighbors that are still there. The rest, they are gone. Like they sell their house 
buy another place house flipping they do that and then there's so many house for sale you're all grown now yes my eldest is 27 and my youngest is 18. three bedrooms three bedrooms two bath is good People buy condominium. Around here, there's a lot of good condominiums. Mm. Like, how much is the price range? Well, in Rossmore, you can get in there for four hundred thousand. <gasps> That's so expensive. Yeah, they're nice. They're small. Though. What's the cheapest condominium here? Like two bath, two bedrooms, two bath. Around that average. Where? Go over my three important things. Our oh, location. <laughs> San Pablo, for example. Probably in the in the five hundred thousand dollar range. Oh wow! It's still five hundred. They come here. To become a doctor is a long haul. I know. Especially in Canada and US, it's too expensive. But there's a loan. <laughs> yeah, it takes 10 years though. I know, right? I, uh, hopefully, because he is undecisive of what to take, either nursing or whatever medical related thing so he just take it takes BS. 10 years to become a doctor it takes mm -hmm. four years to become a nurse mm, so nurse is for me is good but he doesn't like that's the problem WestJet. I'm taking the WestJet. I've seen there's Harvey Terminal 1, Terminal I or L. And then there is Terminal A and then Terminal G. So I am not so sure 
my terminal it says here terminal L is it L or I? I. Oh. International. International. So I. Okay. It's my first time to have layover in San Francisco. So I will probably do this again. Keep left to stay on US. Highway 101 South toward SF International Airport. Then take right exit 423A. You have an email address in your calling card, so right? I do. Okay, perfect. It's not traffic, which is really good. International Terminal Using the right lane, keep right toward International Terminal International Just ahead, continue straight toward International Terminal International Using the right lane Continue straight toward International Terminal International to talk to you sir well, nice to, to see you, you in too. the future <laughs> hope to talk to you and see you in the future so if I decide to buy I should come here and check it's not far it's only three hours three hours by plane it's a quick trip yeah it is so I have to drop by drop here off, fill in it on the left. Perfect, thank you so much.